<clears throat> Hello and welcome to episode 7 of my Stardew Valley tutorial let's play series. This episode will be on completing the spring foraging bundle. So okay let's get out of bed because it is 6am or past that now. The first thing we do check the telly Ah, right, okay, here we're going to get a recipe. Whenever you see the Queen of Sauce, that means that you're going to get a new recipe. So let's click on that. Stir fry. Okay, now for the recipes that you learn, until we upgrade our house and uh, get a kitchen built, we can't make the recipes. But there's no rush, there's so much for us to do and enjoy and have fun doing. Um, all in good time and all in good process. In good order, that is. So, for now though, let's focus on the community centre and the spring foraging bundle. How do we know what we need in order to complete uh, the spring foraging bundle? Well, if we press the E key, <clears throat> now that the community centre has been opened, over here on the right you'll notice there's a button that says community centre. And if we left click on that, it shows us the crafts room, which is the only room we've unlocked at the moment. Okay, you can't go right and you can't go left cycling through the other rooms. So here's the one that we're doing and focusing on, the spring foraging bundle. So if we click on it, you'll see that I've done the horse radish, I've done the daffodil. Now, next I need a leek and a dandelion. So let's come out of there and let's go do that. Ah, right, someone's here to talk to me. Woofy. Right, I'm not going to accept the dog. I'll tell you why. Because um, I found that the dog always seems to sit at the place I need to do something and so it gets very annoying whilst it's lovely to have a pet for me I'm gonna say no because I don't want it sitting in the way all the time and getting in my way so there we go that's my personal preference of course you may want a pet but they are only the pets are only for um, for show they don't actually do anything, you know, they can't attack any creatures. Not that there's creatures here for them to attack, but they're just there to get in your way. So anyway, I know that sounds a bit harsh, but you know what? It's just, it's just the way it is. Right, let's quickly, time's ticking on. I've only got 15 minutes, so let's harvest what we can. Be careful what you have selected when you harvest. If you have... Um, is it the axe or the pickaxe? One of them will destroy your crops. So make sure I go with the sword. That doesn't do any harm. See, look, you can't damage your crops. But if you have um, one of these selected, I think it's the pickaxe, it'll dig your crop up. So be careful about that. Right, okay, let's get watering really quickly. Time is moving on. And also I wanna get a farming skill, so good reason to water all of my crops and of course I'm only doing this until I get a sprinkler and then it makes farming so much better and my energy is very low again which is not good so I'm either going to have to sleep or eat something
didn't even see that crop was ready. Oh, okay, with this crop I need to use the scythe. And you've got to face the direction. So there we go, for the kale you have to use the scythe. And the kale is the crop that I wanted to grow loads of. Because look at the energy it's going to give me. 50 energy back. In fact, I wanted to sell it, but you know what? I need the energy. So, let's use it. There we go. Right. Okay, let's finish watering my crops. Cool, that kale came in hand. So handy. Right, okay, that's all my crops watered. Now let's uh, go to the chest and get what I need. Okay, don't need the potato, don't need the tulip, don't need the parsnip. But what I do need is a leek. There we go. And what I do need as well is you know what, I've forgotten already. Right, let's go back in here, have another look. I've got the brain, the memory span of an ant. Dandelion, that's what I needed. Right, okay, so let's grab a dandelion. Cool, that's lucky, I've only got one. Right, okay, so we've got what we need to finish the uh, foraging bundle. Let's go do that. Okay, may as well collect that delivery payment for the um, potato that I delivered. Because I can buy more seeds. If it Well, actually I can't because it's Wednesday and the shop's shut. But never mind. Okay, so these quests I'll get to in another episode. And that'll be a good one. But let's go to the community centre. See what we can do with what's left in this day. Always check up there, see if there's any new foraging items. You can either sell them or eat them. Say hello to this person. Say hello to this person. Okay, and say hello to this person. Oh, if I'd have known it was Lewis, I'd have played catch. Never mind. Catch, playing catch with that person would have been a way to improve my um, friendship with them. But I need to show you the community centre. Remember, you have to actually go to the community centre to drop the items into the collection box. You can't do it remotely. So, here we go. Spring bundle. There's the leak. There's the daffodil. Bundle completed. Yay. Okay, now, whenever you do any of the bundles, you will get a reward. Okay? Once you've done all of the bundles, then you get this reward, which will be the bridge being repaired. Okay, for now, I'm going to click the reward. And look at that, how cool. 30 seeds. There's one reason why you must, you should get your foraging and farming bundles done quick as you can. Because you might get a reward like this. So now, I can go and plant them. Well, if I've got the energy, that is. Okay, so there we go. That is done. Let's close that. The rest, now, we've got to wait for summer in order to do the summer foraging bundle. But let's close this and show you what happens. Okay, now see, now that we've done that, we've unlocked that one. And we've also unlocked that one. So there we go, the game's starting to open up to us. So let's go take a look and show you what we've just unlocked. Okay, so we've unlocked the pantry. So that means now we can do the spring crops bundle, which is a parsnip, a green bean, a cauliflower, 
and a potato. That is why I said to you to buy one of each type of seed and get them planted. I know I've got a potato, I know I've got a parsnip, I'm just waiting for the green bean and the cauliflowers to finish growing and then I'll be able to add them in. So that's the spring crops bundle. Oh, just to show you, and again, there's the other seasons, summer, fall, and... Oh, okay, summer and fall. And the other one's a quality crops bundle. That's where you'll need the gold star tier of the crop. So I've planted loads of parsnips. That should not be a problem the melon. In order to get to the gold uh, star crops you're going to start needing to use fertilizers which uh, I will actually create and show in, in an episode. I'm not sure, maybe we can do it in this episode if I've got time. A melon, a pumpkin and a corn. We only need three so that I'm going to hopefully have. Then it will be one of these for the other seasons. Okay, going back, you can see artisan bundle, so six, and we need one of these. Animal bundle, so when we start getting on to farming, that's when we can do that one. But this can be done at any time of the year, bear in mind. And, yeah, so that's the three to show you which are non-season uh, related. So there we go. Got to do that one. Right, and last room to look at that we just unlocked was over here so let's take a look this one's a fishing one so you've got a river fish bundle night fishing bundle lake fishing bundle crab pot bundle ocean fishing bundle and special specialty fish bundle let's look at the ocean I got a sardine you'll remember in the when I did some sea fishing uh, the tuna, red snapper and tilapia I believe are the other seasons. So I've got this season's fish for the ocean. Let's look at the river. Sunfish. I'm not sure I've got a sunfish in actual fact. I'm going to go check. Let's go check. What we can do is we can check this when we get back to my farm. Oh, there's another quest. Smallmouth bass. You know what? I'm going to accept that because I wonder if I've got time to do it. I know I've got a smallmouth bass. And it's only the 10th of uh, this month. 10th uh, so I've still got plenty of spring left in order to do some fishing and catch more okay now let's get that fish first uh, oh I have got a sunfish cool so I've, I've done the uh, river fish there's a smallmouth bass so let's go get some easy gold okay now to check the community center okay so we can use the sarrow now go to the fish tank river fish bundle done for this season night fishing bundle walleye oh I haven't got one of, oh, I've got the bream so I've got the bream I haven't got these other two yet these you might need to fish I might need to night fish in a lake and the sea if this is the river so that I'll have to investigate but I've got one of them the bream right so I need to go to the lake uh, on the way to the, the wizard's tower and get myself a largemouth bass let's see if I've got time to do that oh there's the timer okay the next episode we will go do the hand in of the smallmouth bass and um, I will see if we can get that lake fish. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.